from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome, everyone, to the Daily TV Mass. I am Bishop Robert Casson, an Auxiliary Bishop in the Archdiocese of Toronto. And uh, Christmas blessings to you all. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by the contribution from Greta Braurup of Terrace, British Columbia. The Mass is offered for eternal rest of Anna and Marius Ott, Hertha Nielsen, Eric Braurup, and for the living and deceased members of the Nielsen and Braurup families, as well as the souls in purgatory. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us call to mind our sins and ask God and neighbor for the forgiveness we need. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, we pray, that we may imitate what we worship, and so learn to love even our enemies. For we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia and Asia stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which Stephen spoke. When his enemies heard that Stephen proclaimed, they became enraged and ground their teeth at him. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But his enemies covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. 
And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While he was being stoned, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. I will exult and rejoice in your steadfast love because you have seen my affliction. Into your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord shines upon us. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Beware of those who oppose you, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and a children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers in Christ, today the Church celebrates the feast of St. Stephen, known to us as one of the first deacons in the early Church and the first recorded martyr. It may seem strange to us that on the day following Christmas, in which we are rejoicing and basking in the great love and joy of the birth of the Christ child, on the day following, today, in the Holy Mass, our attention is focused on persecution and death. And that may seem highly unusual. Nevertheless, there is an important lesson for the spiritual life 
that lies lodged in today's feast. Let me explain. In the opening prayer of today's Mass that we now call the Collect, we pray, Grant, Lord, we pray, that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies. We pray that we will imitate what we worship. What or who do we worship? We will say that we worship Jesus Christ, of course, and in particular, his sacrificial offering of self on the cross to his Father for the salvation of the world. Although we know from the scripture that it was not easy for the human Jesus to offer himself sacrificially, we do know that he, in the end, surrendered himself completely as gift to his Father so that forgiveness of sins could be won for us through the offering of the perfect gift that is Jesus. And so we honor today the sacrificial offering of Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. And in the story today of St. Stephen, at the end of his life, as he was being persecuted and even stoned to death, at the very end, he says, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And that is the line from today's first reading that introduces us to the lesson of today's feast. The lesson is this. In our Christian life, each one of us, throughout the course of our life, and as more specifically, at the end of life, we are called to surrender ourselves, our complete self, heart, mind, body, and soul, to the Father. This gives us great security, because we know that we can trust in the will of the Father for us. It will be that which is best for us. Although we may not know the will of the Father for us, Nevertheless, we can still entrust ourselves completely and fully to God because we know that that which is best for us will come to us. At the end of our life, we know that we will be introduced to a new life in heaven, a new kind of birth, a second birth for each of us, into the eternal life in heaven where we will live in communion with God for all eternity. That, that communion with God for all eternity, certainly is the goal of the Christian life. So today, may we learn the lesson from St. Stephen that in our life, each one of us, difficult as it may be, will be asked to surrender ourselves completely for our own benefit. Let us offer our prayer intentions. First, let us pray for the Church throughout the world, especially for Pope Francis and other spiritual leaders who are often persecuted in our Church for their endurance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to religious persecution everywhere around the world, and for the advent of peace and respect for people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be remembered in our prayer intentions book, especially for those experiencing loneliness, that they may find the peace and hope of Jesus Christ during this Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, we entrust to you today the petitions we carry in our hearts. We trust that you will hear and respond according to your will and for our well-being. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divine life of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sin. Thank you. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of St. Stephen the Martyr, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, 
He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, with Saint Stephen and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give thanks to you, O Lord, who save us through the nativity of your Son and gladden us with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and joy. Thanks, thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. We gather.